In his remarks at the company's 16th annual general meeting held in Kampala, Mr. Dudson Mwaura, managing director of BAT Uganda, said the company will pay the dividend in line with its policy of 100% dividend payout, subject to withholding tax on or before 21st June 2016 to shareholders on the register as to the close of business on 31st May 2016. The dividend payment comes on the backdrop of a good financial performance by the company in 2015 during which the business registered a profit after tax of Uganda shillings, 20.3 billion. The company's total revenues were 26% lower as a result of lower leaf export volumes following the discontinuation of their leaf business in 2014. However, cigarette revenues increased by 6% from Uganda shillings, 64 billion in 2014 to Uganda shillings, 70 billion in 2015, mainly due to price increase on some of Batu's major brands. In his remarks after the meeting, the board chairman, Honorable Dr. Eli Karuhanga, commended BAT Uganda on its good performance despite being majorly impacted by difficult economic conditions, which included significant depreciation of the shilling against the U.S. dollar, coupled with, amongst others, inflation that was significantly higher in 2015 compared to 2014. This led to exchange losses in the company's foreign transactions. Cigarette sales volumes were also impacted by the 29% increase in cigarette excise taxes in July 2015. He noted that illicit cigarettes at 20% remained a key concern in addressing loss of illegal industry cigarette volumes as well as stemming loss of government revenue in Uganda. Despite these challenges, the business managed to reduce operating costs and grow its cigarette revenues. Commenting on the new legislation for the industry, the Tobacco Control Act 2015, Mr. Mwaura said that the company did not welcome the regulation of the sector, but maintains that it should be fair and balanced to be able to deliver the public health objectives while taking into account the legal rights of the industry and those who drive their livelihoods from the sector. Mr. Mwaura further added that whereas significant reviews were done in some areas of the law towards making it more effective, a few aspects remain a challenge owing to their complexity and impracticability in terms of effective enforcement and validity. This remains a key area of focus for the engagements and planning as BAT continues to advocate for a reasonable evidence-based and enforceable law. BAT Uganda shares remain the best priced on the Uganda Sales Exchange at the moment, trading at an average of Uganda shillings 30,000 per share. The said shares were priced at Uganda shillings 8,500 at the end of 2014. The shares have consistently remained competitive on the stock exchange.